low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go. go. First, we are going to hear from Dre's mom. She has a message to say thank you to Slay Mafia for their support of Dre. Thank you, by the way, so, so much for being there for my daughter. Having supporters for my daughter during a challenging time in our life felt good. Um, that people could see through the horrific things that were being said about her, which were so untrue. And finally the truth came out. I am so proud of my daughter for rising above it all and not mm -hmm. letting it affect her or my grandbabies. I could never be a more prouder mother mm -hmm. of, my, of my babies. I just threw a, a bit of salt. You don't make me cry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that means a lot to me because that's my mama. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then after what social media did, it's hard to want to share the people I love. But we love Slay Mafia. Yes, we do. Go <laughs> Slay Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> now we are going to hear how proud Dre's mom is of her grandbabies. I'm so proud of my grandbabies. They are equipped. Dude, you know, when you guys were living with me, y'all know where I live, right? <laughs> I couldn't make quinoa for nothing. Oh my goodness. Didn't want to eat it because it came out soggy. And then here comes Bella. She's throwing down her dishes and here it goes. And she's making awesome quinoa or oasis is cookie. And people are like complaining about how you eat. Oh my goodness. As if your food was horrible. I'm just like dumb. Every time I come over here, I'll be looking on her little cooking station. <laughs> Like, she got some tucked away somewhere. <laughs> Mommy, get get grandma the chocolate chip cookies oh, you made yesterday. See? What I say? What I say? <laughs> uh -huh. Oasis is our little baker and Bella's our little chef. They're both chefs, but you know, mm -hmm. they complement each other so well. Right. There is nothing lacking in this house, I'll tell you that. Hmm. Next, we are going to hear a message from Raza. In a recent live, Dre and the kids were making a video on CMOS on social media and Raza always reads the comments as they are scrolling by. He is a fast reader. I will let him tell you what happened. Hi guys. Um, we took a break after we made the CMOS video. People were saying inappropriate comments. Like, was I wearing eyeshadow? That's not, it's just my skill. It's just my color changing. It's a beautiful ombre. Okay, period. It's a beautiful ombre. <laughs> period. How dare they? Yes. We're back where we belong. Yeah, I belong in Slay Mafia. Mm -hmm. I do not belong in public. Yeah, me neither, son. Me neither. So much rude comments about mommy, and then mommy. I... It's okay. Rude comments about mommy. Just so annoying. This is how we feel, okay? I just feel like, oh my gosh, it's so but stressful. But how, how amazing are we? Really amazing, so amazing that we are so healthy. Me Even too. though a little of this. <laughs> Even though there's a little this. A little wiggle. A little wiggle, a little jiggle. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what that Mommy does a lot of things for me, and I am not no. malnourished. I think it's that. Yeah. Yeah, I am definitely. Mommy, you don't have to say that, though. They know that. Yeah. They know that. And also replying to the public that was from last time. Yeah. No. It's people are stupid. Yeah. Mommy's a really sweet. Mommy's a really sweet mother. You're so sweet, Bobby. They know that too. This is Dre's post about what happened. My sweet boy, Raza. Although his words are so beautiful, 
This is also so sad for me to watch. The false narratives that people ran with spread an immeasurable amount of hate towards me. It is something that continues to this day. My son and I have a beautiful relationship. We always have. He shouldn't feel like he needs to defend me or our relationship with grown women and men who portray it or me as anything other than that. People also never cease to shock me with the questions regarding my son's eyes. First of all, it's none of anyone's business why he looks the way he does. Whether he wears makeup or not which he doesn't is not anyone's concern. He also is not diagnosed with vitiligo. What we are not about to do is discuss my child's body with people on the internet. Sit down, sit all the way down, and stay in your lane. To all the people who were on the live or Ray watched it when all this madness took place, thank you for flooding the comments with positivity. My son is a fast reader. I know that you were furious at the comments and questions too. Slay Mafia, thank you for being there to listen to him vent. He is so comfortable being there where we receive no hate whatsoever. It makes it easy to be live when the environment is peaceful. Whether you like, Dre or not, kids are off limits. In my opinion, no one should ever be talking about this child's looks, or any other child's looks for that matter. There is no reason for adults to be acting in this manner. Be better. Do better. I would like to thank you for watching my video. Please like, subscribe and ring the little bell. I will see you next time.